Welcome back to another Nature's Always Right video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to set up your CoolBot Pro, how to connect it to your Wi-Fi network, and how to monitor your CoolBot from your phone or their website. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do, this is just the CoolBot's main website. I'm following the instructions that they give you when you buy your CoolBot. So we're gonna go to cb.storecold.com. We need to create a new password and all that. So let me do this. I'm just gonna sign up real quickly here for the monthly. Okay, and now we're all subscribed. Okay, so let's set up the Wi-Fi. So before I connect anything, I'm just gonna hook up all of the sensors. This is what they show in their instructional video. So the, the room and the fins are the two temperature sensors. This black with the red knob is the heater. Let's connect the power. Perfect. So now we've got a temperature. My room temperature in my house right now is 83. The last thing we'll need to do here, connecting the data cable to this jumper. This is what receives the Wi-Fi signal. It's all plugged in. Now, on the computer screen here, it says go to the computer's Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Wi-Fi station, starting with CoolBot. Accept any warnings. When you see E1 flashing on the CoolBot's display, press next. You'll click on CoolBot. The network connects. And it just said E1. When you see E1 flashing, press next. The CoolBot needs the station name and password for your Wi-Fi. So mine, this is my Wi-Fi extender, is garage. And then my password, I put in the correct Wi-Fi password. Now it's gonna go through these E numbers it says. It says once it stops flashing E codes, press next. I think that's it. I don't see any more flashing. So it's it connected to our Wi-Fi. Go to your computer's network or Wi-Fi settings and make sure it's set back the way it was. Looks like we're good, finished. And now here is the graph. So check it out, this is pretty cool. So here's where we can set up our program. So you can set the temperature, the range that you want it to be. Looks like you can make an adjustment to the temperature uh, thermometer that goes inside of the fins, maybe delaying before giving heat to the temperature probe. And then you've got notifications you can set up. So you can notify yourself by email or by text message, say, you know, hey, the fridge is way too warm, something's wrong. Pretty cool. Just your details and hardware setup. You can update the firmware. Let's see if we can update. Looks like I'm all up to date. Everything's good to go. Okay, and then there's my account where you can manage your subscription. You can change to Celsius or Fahrenheit. Oh, it looks like you can even request support Okay, so they just give you a way, if you have any problems, here's all their info to contact CoolBot to get it fixed. Okay, that's it guys. Now I'm gonna go and ins install this on my fridge. Remember that the jumper gets installed outside of the fridge. It is not weatherproofed like this box is. All right guys, so here I am on top of the fridge and I just have the Wi-Fi module right on top of here and I'm able to get a really good Wi-Fi signal. So I'm not gonna put this anywhere special. I'm just gonna set it and leave it here. CoolBot does provide you with a ton of cable here. So I could route this thing over to the other side of the garage to try to get a better signal. But luckily that's not gonna be necessary for me. So this will be just great. Okay, and now that the Wi-Fi network is clicked on, we're now getting active updates of the current temperature. So here you can see that the temperature is at 53. You can see this is my range from 33 to 45. 36 is my temperature that I want it set for. So if we go into the devices area, you know, it shows us our CoolBot is online. Just before it was turned on, it said offline. Um, here's our settings. So this is where we can go in. I can set my temperature I want, the range, all the adjustments I already showed you. Um, so then this is all live. And I'm going to let the CoolBot cool down the refrigerator so you can see 
how it works, and you can see the graphs and everything. So there is no official app for Coolbot, and it's not really necessary at all. So you just access your account via their website. So you just go to cb.storecold.com, you'll enter in your credentials, and then you're able to see the live status of your Coolbot. And it's very easy to use on your phone or on the computer. Okay, so as you guys can see, it gives you this really nice graph. So it started up here. So it looks like in about 40 minutes, it's gone from room temperature down to about 36, 37, 38, where my temperature is set. I only use my cooler uh, one or two days a week, so I'm not running it consistently. But um, you can see here's on Friday, that was one of my markets. And you can separate it by hours, days, weeks, and months. So it's pretty nifty. So here on the phone, everything is the same. And it's just nice that you can have something super portable as your phone, or you can just sit down at your computer and look at the numbers there as well. So another really great feature about the Coolbot Pro, you can have it set up notifications for you. So if I click the test, then it'll send me an alert. There we go, now it's sending a text message to my phone telling me that it's too hot. And it'll even send a message to your email as well that looks like this. So it says Coolbot is offline. So I think the couple notifications that they give you is if it's too hot, if it's too cold, or if it's off when it should be on. So that is pretty nice to have that as well. So you can kind of forget about your cooler and it'll just notify you if there is an issue. If you'd like your own Coolbot, I have a $20 off coupon down in the video description for you. Just click that link and it'll take you to the Coolbot site and that'll give you $20 off for whenever you'd like to buy your own. All right guys, so that's how you set up the Wi-Fi for your Coolbot Pro so that you can monitor everything.